Hello everybody and welcome back to Victoria where here we are ready to start another series. Now we're on the current version of this game which is 1.4.2. The 1.5 open beta is out. I have tried it. I don't believe that it's quite ready or stable enough yet for a full series. So we're going to be on the current version, not on the open beta, but we haven't played a game on this version, so that's okay. We're going to do a new game here, and we're going to, of course, play in sandbox mode because that's just the way we roll around here. And this is going to be a Japan game as requested by the council members. So that's absolutely fantastic. I've been thinking about doing a Japan game anyway. I think that's a really interesting one here. So we need to think about what our goals might end up being. Well, I'm not entirely sure how this starts off. Looks like standard of living is low, as is literacy. Not shocking, but we have a pretty good amount of battalions. So we're kind of, I think, angling for like a greater East Asian co-prosperity sphere idea. Just, you know, slightly early, like a hundred years early. And ideally without the Pearl Harbor attack. That would be potentially awkward. But the U.S. isn't actually a huge... Well, they are a great power, but they're not, you know, like, the greatest power at this stage. So that's fine. We're going to play as the Japanese Jogunit here, and let's hop right on in and see how this goes. This is going to be interesting. I've not started as this before. I have absolutely no idea what to expect. Although, it looks like we're colonizing up here. Noted. Do we currently have a colonization going? No. Okay, what is our institution here? Law enforcement. Okay, well that's mildly awkward. So what tech do we need to be able to do at least some level of colonization? Well, I would guess probably colonization would do the trick. We've researched it though. So that's intriguing. Do we need... Okay. It unlocks colony. Oh, we need the law, don't we? What is our law for colonization? Let's see here. We have no colonial affairs. Yeah. So we're going to go for probably colonial exploitation here. Yes. Let's get that going. So that's step one. Step two. What tech do we want? I kind of want to go pretty hard into military. So we can go for, like, mandatory service here. That seems reasonably fine. So, from here, we have no journal entries active right now. It'll be interesting to see what we get as far as events and such like that. For now, nothing's under construction. We have very little. We're on wooden buildings right now. A significant lack of iron, and that's kind of a consistent issue for Japan, to be honest. Lack of natural resources is a pretty big issue. That said... We do actually have access to a decent amount of iron. Some coal, some lead, some sulfur, some wood. Okay, that all seems reasonably fine then. In which case, we should consider bumping up to iron frame buildings immediately. And perhaps even building an additional... See, that was going to be 6k. So, like, two construction sectors. Something like that. Okay, so that's going to take a little bit, obviously. No problem there. We start at number 14 in the world. Interesting. We're considered an unrecognized major power, and that makes sense. We'll see if we can maybe disrupt what uh, Britain has going on in China at the beginning of the game here. Probably not immediately, though. Let's go up to speed four. That'll be fine. Oh, right. We have, like, time of day now. Out of curiosity... Uh, themes. Day and night cycle. Okay, that's currently enabled. Fascinating. So we're currently in night. I gotcha. So then out over here, presumably it's day, but there's fog of war. This looks like night anyway. Well, actually, no, it doesn't. I believe in my pre previous testing on the 1.5 version of the game, I found that at night the text becomes white. So maybe not. Regardless, it doesn't really matter. To be clear, that's not actually tied to this time of day because that would just be flashing by super fast. So that's definitely the case. So the colonial exploitation is going to be done 
eventually. Once we get that done, then we can go after this last little bit of Ainu that we need. We have two buildings under construction here. Now it's only one. Okay. Cool. So we can see we're at plus 5.5k. We're probably going to end up, yeah, with iron and tools shortages. So we're going to want to make at least some amount of iron mines here. And... Tohoku is a pretty decent option for that. We can have a lot of these, and there's a decent amount of labor here. That said, there's way more labor in Kanto. So we might want to build one of these here. We're going to be pretty cautious with this for now. We, of course, are additionally going to need a tooling workshop. We have none of those. So where do we have the most amount of unemployed people? Kansai. Now, these are probably actually peasants, right? Yeah, almost all of them are peasants. I'm not shocked about that one. So we'll get that queued up for the moment. Hello, pause menu. And we're just going to need to work our way through this. So we're going to have some expensive, expensive construction for a bit here. No doubt about that. I'm expecting this number to go negative here soon. But there's colonial exploitation going to consideration. Phenomenal. And yeah, this number is now slightly negative. What are we at for taxation? Minimum? How much would we get here? 17.8k. We might want to run maximum taxation for the time being and invest in more construction. We can afford almost three, so we can get two of these queued up right at the beginning and scale up our construction speed pretty dramatically. That's going to be very important. And yeah, here we go. This is now nighttime. Phenomenal. So we can we can see that when we're zoomed in here, it's all this white color and it's definitely nighttime. There's a rice farm being built with our private construction as well. So that's fine. We'll keep an eye on this. As long as we're making money, we're relatively happy, but we want to expand our construction pretty dramatically at this moment. Of course, our lack of, sh of iron and tools is a problem. There's no doubt about that. We need to work on that. And we're probably going to ultimately not get all that much out of this until we get start getting these finished, right? Because our shortage of iron and tools is going to be a pretty major deal. So there's a, that colonial exploitation now being adopt adoption. So we can actually head up over here. Noted. And start colonizing some of these areas down here. That's definitely something we're interested in doing. We'll see when we can get all of that done. But we want to get moving here. No doubt about that. So we could probably consider getting ourselves an additional construction sector, it looks like. We'll get one more for now. Actually, we'll get two. We don't have maximum throughput here. In fact, we have pretty low throughput because of our iron and tools shortages. But we still have some throughput here, and so that's fine. We're losing our power rank. That's okay. I'm not actually concerned about that. It'll be going down. It'll come back up. No major concerns there for the moment. So a couple more construction sectors coming in. Here at the end of this week, we will almost get another one. And our iron mines in Kanto are a ways away from constructing still. That's going to be about 10 weeks. We should definitely let that finish. Ah, we're actually putting a teeny tiny amount of construction into our tooling workshops in Kansai. I like that. That's very, very solid. So obviously we have an iron impacus shortage. We have colonial enthusiasm here. Hmm. 10% enactment success chance. 10% prestige would keep our would would keep our power rank. But I actually don't care about the power rank. This colony growth speed is a lot better, actually. So once we get our adoption done, then that'll be perfect. So let's kick on forward here. Let's get these iron mines in Kanto complete. That's going to be, like, getting all of this in some way modernized is going to be a big deal. Do we have access to railways yet? No, we don't. Okay. So we are, we're getting cotton gin. That's going to be necessary because mechanical tools does require the lathe. So the cotton gin will happen in 20 to 27 months. So after the mandatory service, we're going to go for atmospheric engine. And then we're probably going to end up going for cotton gin into lathe, into mechanical tools, into railways. 
that's a lot of economic tech. I know I said we were gonna, gonna go pretty hard on military, but we do absolutely need to get railways. That's a very high priority here. And so that is going to happen sooner rather than later. Now, currently we are at an innovation cap of 73.1. So how much do we gain per university? Out of curiosity. We're probably not gonna build these right now, but it's two innovation each. Okay, so we could get somewhere around 10 to 15 universities in order to cap at this moment. It's reasonably okay, but we probably don't want to do this right now. That's probably a low priority at this moment. So we'll come back to that for sure. We need to get this iron mining canto done and then a tooling workshop. And we'll just, we also need some wood. Okay, so we'll build a logging camp in Chugoku. That'll be fine. That will happen after our tooling workshop. Or maybe before it, once we start actually moving resources into the logging camp. I'm not sure. One of those. We have an iron input goods shortage, and the tools shortage is actually, I think, not affecting us here. But obviously, iron is needed to be worked on, right? We're currently selling a tiny amount of iron. A very tiny amount of iron. And the question is, where do we build that? Kanto? The question is, how much iron is that actually going to produce? The maximum production is going to be 20. Okay, there's our colonial exploitation. Perfect. So with colonial exploitation, we're going to start colonizing here. I don't believe it's automatically colonizing up here. Interesting. Oh, it was automatically colonizing here, and we colonized here. Gotcha. So that's fine. That'll take a little bit of time there. I do want to get another law change going here. So we're on peasant levies for the moment. Absolutely move to a professional army. Let's go. That will reduce our short-term military power. But for the moment, that's fine. We are negative in our bureaucracy right now. And that is definitely something that we're going to need to deal with. So this is 50 bureaucracy per level. So we need four of these. Okay. This is a lot of negative taxation capacity, actually. Losing 100k in unrealized taxes? Wow. Okay. So to that end, we're going to be working on these for a while, it looks like. So 50. So one, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That puts us at 250, 300. So 50, one, 50 each, right? Yes. 100, 200, 300, 350, 400. Okay. So this would need to be plus nine. I'm putting these at the bottom of the list for the record. And this would need to be, let's see, this is currently 200, 300, 400, and 500, 550. Okay. So something like this to get our taxation capacity up. We're going to continue to work on these resource generations. Absolutely. But for the moment, this will be fine. We'll probably only work on one resource generation at a time and then be working on the government administrations behind that is, I think, the way that this is going to end up going. So for the moment, that's reasonably fine. We have an unpinned journal entry here, the whaling industry. Okay. Well, we could definitely do some whaling. No doubt about that. So we would go into our whaling stations. Oh, well, we do actually have some whaling stations. Here, so that seems fine for the moment. So we are going to need a port up over here for sure. The question is, what kind of a priority do we have on that? I just put it at the top. It's going to take 15 weeks. I think what we'll do is we'll move it down about here. We do want to make sure that that's not isolated up there. Definitely. So for the time being, that's reasonably fine. I don't think we need to work up our colonial affairs institution at all. And we also can't for the moment. Which isn't shocking considering what we've got going on for our government administration situation, right? That's not shocking at all. So this is fine for right now. Tooling workshops in Kansai will be done eventually. Logging camps in Chugoku, that's going to be the longer portion of this. Okay. So we're still running the iron and wood shortage and tools shortage. How big is our tools shortage? 
Okay, 80.5. So how much are we generating per tooling workshop? 30 per level. So we know that we only need about three tooling workshops here. Now, tooling workshops use wood. So we might end up with a problem with our wood production. So we would definitely want to make sure that we had enough wood production for that. So we'd do something like this. And then from there, we would want to build... Well, we know that this is producing 20 iron per level. And we know that our iron shortage is currently 400, right? So three... Well, four total is going to get us 80. So that is going to be 200. Or no. That is going to be 100 right there. Plus... Okay, I'm, I'm confusing myself. We've got one already, so this is six, so this is 120. Gotcha. So we need to be at 140, 160, 180, 200. And it was 400, correct? Correct. So we need to be at double this number. So we need to be at plus 19. Okay, now this is obviously not the order we want this to go in. Because iron mines are going to use tools. So, we want to move up these tooling workshops, and then we want to move up these logging camps. The government administrations will come back to. I want this tooling workshop as the top priority, and then a logging camp, and then a tooling workshop, and then a logging camp, and then a tooling workshop. Like this. Cool. So, that'll be fine for the time being. We are definitely running a deficit right now, but that should start to turn around as we handle some of these economy issues. I'm not too, too concerned about that for right now. We're definitely making good progress up over this way. Where did our port go? Okay, it's down here. Yeah, I want to move the port up, but I don't actually want it to be quite there. I think what we really want here is the port to be here like this okay something like that will do yeah this is a big construction queue that's fine we're going to need all of these iron mines we're going to need all of these government administrations there's a specific reason why we've queued up every single thing here so i'm okay with that it's a long queue but it's not just like queuing up everything right uh, that's something i have a tendency to do and i'm working on getting away from that a bit so hopefully that'll end up happening there's one tooling workshop done. That's good. And yeah, we're going to lose our power rank. We're aware of this. Not concerned about it. So this wood issue, I'm wondering... Okay, it's not that bad, but we should be absolutely fine for now with our wood situation. Cool. So that looks good. We're now adopting professional army. That's happening very quickly. Also happening quickly these colonizations out over here. I like it. Eventually, we could declare interests, like, down over this way. Take over, like, Papua. We certainly could do that. So we have an interest down over here being established now. What about Fiji? Yeah, that's being established, it looks like, as well. Or already existing, or too far away. One or the other. I'm, well, one of those three, anyway. I'm not sure which, but that's fine. It's interesting how our fog of war isn't illuminating the area immediately around our island. Well, islands, plural. That's definitely interesting. No doubt about that. But whatever. This is fine for the moment. We're definitely going to continue to colonize up over here and get this all handled very quickly. Things are currently tense and uneasy, and that's going to continue to escalate, I'm sure. But that's completely fine. We're not concerned about that at all. So are we still running a tools shortage? Yes. But that'll be going away quite soon. We have an additional 60 tooling coming out soon. So that will help our construction situation. The main problem here, of course, and we don't want to build all of these iron mines at once. I'm going to move the majority of these iron mines down, and we're going to do something like this. And then we'll move some of these up, eventually. So there's our professional army. Cool. This is really not bad. Okay. Noted. That's not bad at all. I like it. So iron mines are going to eventually be moved up. I really wish we could drag and drop these in this list. It would be very convenient. But for now, I think we'll just intersperse these. 
it's going to be kind of tedious to do, unfortunately. I just tried to middle-click drag this. That did not go well, as you might imagine. Really, I think what we'll do is we'll just have this be down here. Yeah, we'll just do something like this. Honestly, we're going to make so much more money out of getting these unrealized taxes than we are out of the iron mines for the moment that we should probably focus on that. We should probably just focus on getting the government administrations for the time being. We can build iron mines as necessary. So I'm really not that concerned about interspersing these now that I think about it. I, I think this is completely fine. We can move them up as needed. And we will need to, to be clear. We're running an input goods shortage. We will need to move them up, but we'll need to move all of them up eventually because we need all of them to get rid of our input goods shortage. So that is a bit of an issue for us, for sure. That said, our tooling workshop in Kansai is finishing up now. So that's great. We're going to have another logging camp done shortly. We've actually seen our money increase pretty dramatically. I do like that. We're no, lo no longer running a tools input goods shortage. It's still expensive, and the balance is still off, but it's definitely wildly improved. Wildly improved. So that's very, very good. We're going to be finishing out... Finish, wow, I cannot speak, apparently. We're going to be finishing this logging camp here in a short time, about one week. And our port will be getting started shortly as well. We're definitely still going negative in our bureaucracy. We, we really need to handle that. We've got a lot of things that we need to do. Okay, so these guys have launched a native uprising against us. We did just complete our colonization of Hokkaido. But we didn't really. They're actually fighting against us. So that's fine. We're going to mobilize this unit, and we'll also mobilize this unit. Keep in mind, this is still under the old war system. Version 1.5 is not out yet, but that will have a full rework of the battle system. I've tried it a little bit. Needs work still. At least last time I tried, which I think was before update 1, which is now out. So I'll have to try that at some point, but this is fine. We're not going to have any issues with this, really. I mean, this is this is wild overkill, to be honest. We can't get any additional war goals other than colonization rights, and that'll be fine. I'm kind of surprised, honestly, that these guys weren't the ones that fired. But okay, seems fine. So we've got about 15 weeks left on this tooling workshop. No problem there. And our logging camp is going to be done, well, a little after that. Honestly, not very long after that. It's not going to be 300 weeks. Uh, this is a little bit more like it. But it's still going to be a lot faster than this. So, that's fine. These government administrations really do need to start getting started, though. And we're currently suffering a lot of government wages. Or actually, military wages here. That's where a lot of this deficit is coming from, is our military. So, having to fight this is definitely a little bit painful for us. But it's not a big deal. We'll have this taken over soon enough. We're not going to be going after anything that we can't directly take over, like, without fighting, you know, like, Russia or Great Britain. We will fight them, but not yet. We're certainly not prepared for that just yet. So nine weeks on this tooling workshop, and then we're going to be done with our tooling workshops for a bit. Yeah, we're definitely seeing the market price of tools dropping off. That's great. And, of course, this is already basically over. Like, it's completely done. No longer decimals in this? Interesting. That looks kind of empty without them. Huh. Fascinating. Well, that's over. <laughs> so, do we want to demobilize these guys? Well, they have, to be de they have to be mobilized for another two months. And at that point, it's probably not worth to demobilize them. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be worth it. Probably not. So we'll have to propose it, or not propose this peace deal. We would want to do this peace deal. They are going to get a lot more reasons to do this as soon as they drop below 50, or zero war score, I should say. And that won't be very long. Not very long at all. We're beginning construction on this port now. That's great. Very happy to see that. Logging camp's done in two weeks. And then this port is going to be done soon after that. Now... 
I believe that this is a crossing here, so we might not eventually need this port, but it'll still be useful to have. So we'll have 14 weeks on that. Nothing too major there. And we're starting work on our government administrations now. So, I do want to move an iron mine up, but after this port. We're definitely going to need iron mines. That's for sure. There's that take treaty dip take treaty port diplomatic play against China. So that's starting up. Have fun with that one, China. And what are we thinking over here? Minus four reasons? Okay. Now they would accept this. Fantastic. So we have our colonization rights here. Enact poor laws. Well, that sounds like work. What do we have going on here? We're on national supremacy, which is perfect. Monarchy, autocracy, that's also perfect. We're probably going to stay on an autocracy for the record. No home affairs, huh? We could go to National Guard and get ourselves a decent amount more battalions that we can mobilize. And I think we'll work on that. We'll see how it goes. Much lower odds on getting that to happen, right? So we'll see about that. That'll be a very interesting one for sure. Going to be losing a power rank eventually, and that's fine. I want to check in... Actually, we should make sure that these are all reset to national standards. We'll do that, and then I want to check what are our national standards anyway. We haven't really done any of this, so that's okay. We could be on luxury furniture production. That's not going to be all that helpful. 60 additional iron. That would be painful for the moment. We're going to want to do that eventually, though. Okay, what else do we have going on here? Fig orchards, absolutely. Harvesting tools? Actually, yes, we're going to be okay on tools for a little bit, I think. Hardwood production is currently a no-go. Although, we will be changing that. Do we want to be doing serfdom? Honestly, yeah. Free peasants is worth less to us, so that's fine. Excellent. So that'll do for now. We could go down to a cargo port. I don't think we need to. I really don't. So for the moment, that looks good. And with that, it is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we're going to finish our colonization out here and continue to work on our early game construction. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Shadow Wolf, Andy McGar, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Soccerman12 UK, Kentogan, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.